Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm finally getting around to this car trailer project. So it's a nice rainy day, not not a whole lot better to do. I guess I could be inside like a, an intelligent person, but instead I'm gonna be out here messing with this. So anyways, I got her figured up and we're gonna make this thing 16 and a half foot. So that'll be pretty sweet there. And yeah, so basically, I was going to cut and move the axles up, but after thinking about it, it probably be easier to move the tongue back. Because if you don't get them axles perfectly square, it won't uh, trail behind you right. So, that's the plan. So, I got that figured up. So, first, I'm going to get it moved over here. More level spot than it is right now. And then cut off all them little ear things down the side. That slide out thing. Get all that cut off and go from there. Those jacks, I won't be using them on this trailer, but I have I have a project in mind for at least two of them, so that'll be pretty neat. And yeah, so I guess let's get to it. she is all cut up so I think that's gonna look pretty good so God here's the tongue I need to flip this over so I can cut the tongue off and get it fitted up here so let's let's flip that over That was my fault the fork fell off. I forgot I had it in the one notch right here where the bottom will kick out. Oh well, no big deal. So let's move this up here and get this baby cut off. Okay guys, so we got the tongue cut off here. And over here I have set up couple chunks of the frame that I have I have them cut so I got to weld that together and then that'll give me the eight foot wide span to run from there to there so that'll be nice and then I'll make another one and do the back but I gotta wait and get my dovetail angles figured out so yeah, let's get to welding these together
We got the front piece on here. So I guess now we're going to work on those trailer tongues then. All right, guys, we got the tongue set up. I've measured it about a hundred and some times. It, it looks pretty good and square to me. So I think I'm going to go for it. So I'll get this guy tacked on here and call it a day. Okay, back again today. So I think we left off with the tongue. So today I was working on this dovetail and this back beam across here. So basically I got these cut down to the bottom. I could do some fancy math and get a certain angle that I want, but I'm just gonna kinda push it down and eyeball it to where, where it looks good for me. So that's what we're gonna do there anyways. My tack rod has to break. Okay, so there's the dovetail. I think that looks pretty decent. And I went, I got an inch and three quarters gap between each of these, so that should be pretty decent. I'm gonna cut out a, a triangle piece of that frame to set down in there and weld that baby up. So, you can get the dovetail finished up and work on the tongue some more. We got her all tacked together here. It's not looking very pretty at the moment, but we'll worry about that later. But you guys remember how before this frame, I could put my hand on one corner and shake it? And the whole thing would wiggle? Well, now it's pretty solid. And we just have her tacked. We don't even have everything welded up. And along with these cross members, I'm going to plate the front of these with some 316 steel to tie all that together. Because these little things right there, they don't do a whole lot of anything. But it's really come together and starting to be pretty solid, so... This, this should work out pretty good. This is where we left off, I do believe. I added this cross member here and that one. And the plan is I want to get two more things of that square tubing and add. I might add two or three, but I want to add them at the bottom of the frame. What would that be where the shackle bolts up? Just across, just to keep this whole thing from flexing. But so far it's looking pretty sweet. So I think it's going to make a pretty good trailer there.
and make this a three or four part video so this will be part two um i've got to order i don't know if i told you guys but i am doing a complete diamond plate deck across the whole thing just got to order that got to order metal to build the ramps for the back and to extend out the frame to get my full width but we're getting to a point now where i need to get some stuff ordered i got to you know just weld everything up solid but i want to get everything in and then flip it upside down so i can weld everything at the bottom make it easy no point laying under it when i can just flip it upside down so there's that but i believe this dovetail just seems to be about the right angle there not too bad for me guessing so so yeah i think it's looking pretty sweet let me let me know what you guys think in the comments and this thing should be pretty sweet little rig when it's done i already got a new jack for the front ordered i don't know if i told you that i got all the lights and uh, what else do we got and i got some metal ordered i gotta go order some more but go ahead and get one big order there and this thing will be on the way so, so that's neat so if we could get it to quit raining that would be awesome but until then you can see it just rains it's rained every day for like a week go ahead and tell you guys uh we got another project coming to the channel so that'll be be pretty interesting i don't know when the video will be up on it i gotta go pick it up but that ain't no big deal and we gotta get back to work in the house so anyways i need to wrap this up i've been pretty long-winded here so thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you in the next one have a good day